Oh, good. What's that well, made of? Well, it's a bit cracky, isn't it? Three, two, one, spark. Oh! <laughs> Once, maybe twice in a lifetime, a car comes along that shakes us to our core and makes us question the meaning of life. It brings humanity to its knees, it impregnates the world's greatest minds with disbelief, and makes men weep at the altar of automotive greatness. Indeed, it is rumoured that after seeing the car we'll reveal to you shortly, Elon Musk, who was inconsolably sobbing at the altar of automotive greatness, was inspired to found a new electric vehicle company to pay homage to what he believed was absolute perfection. Of course, his company Tesla falls some way short of that, but God does love a trier. Anyway, back to the perfection bit and the reason you're all here. And here it is. It's, it's a G-Wiz. But not just any G-Wiz. It's Ethan's G-Wiz. Why is it my G-Wiz? Well, you were really desperate that we get a G-Wiz for the channel. I wasn't desperate. That's a pretty strong word. Should we have a proper poke around? But before we do that, yeah. should we shift it forward a little bit? Okay. Because yeah. it's, it's a little bit in the way. Good shot. Three, two, one. Oh, good. What's that oh, made of? It was a bit cracky, isn't it? <laughs> it's like raked, isn't it? Yeah. Careful, careful. So this is uh, Car Throttle's new project car. Budget cuts and all. Couldn't even afford a car that was made out of metal. Couldn't <laughs> even afford a car, because this is a quadricycle. Is it? Classed as a heavy quadricycle. This car also doesn't have any batteries, which means it doesn't move under its own steam. It's not got a lot going for it at the moment, no, it? and we paid 400 pounds. So tell us, Ethan, why do we now have a G-Wiz on the channel? Well, a friend of ours, John, who actually owns an Airbnb, which you've seen before. Do you remember when you spent 24 hours in a Peugeot? Yeah, I don't remember the Airbnb. I remember being outside it. The Airbnb was lovely, Crestal Cottage, check it out if you ever want to go there. But when we were leaving, I spotted this G-Wiz, which was sort of tucked up against a barn. The brainwave started going, like, hello. About a month or so ago, he was like, yeah, it's time to get rid. I was looking at like crash tests of this, okay. and they say at 40 miles an hour, if you have a crash in this, you're guaranteed to die. Everyone dies. Even people in like a Volvo XC90, they would also die because this is so dangerous. Because they're horrified by this thing. <laughs> yeah, they would die before impact, which is probably good for them. We're going to do a living with series with this car. Range test. Dino. Dino. Can we even start the dino? <laughs> yeah, can we start the dino? Yeah. Um, but before we do all of that, let's have a proper all right. poke around Ethan's brand new car. Quick question, yeah. you know the phrase, gee whiz, what yeah. came first, chicken or the egg? Well, the Something to the, think about. Well, the phrase. Something to think about. Talk us through it. This is a Reva G Wiz. There is a cracked windscreen. Maybe just a bit of perspex in there. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah, very good. Or uh, uh, no windscreen at all. It's already a dangerous car. We can't make it any more it's dangerous. It's not a car, it's a quadricycle. Thank you, Ethan. I've got a surprise for you. Yeah? <laughs> Fully oh. electric. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it had like a V6 no. or a V5. No, no, well, no, it doesn't even have a V5. We need to apply for that. Oh, that was good. Inside? Yeah, that's here. Oh, I like yeah. this. Oh, that's like a narrow boat. <laughs> is that actually? Yeah, this is the transmission. That's the gear selector is up here. So you have reverse neutral, <laughs> empty and full. I don't know. This is straight from Lego, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that is so basic. And also, have a go on the hazard warning switch. Well, you just pull it up? Yeah. Good, oh, isn't it? my word. They tried to revolutionise how you use your hazard lights and they failed. Yep, they failed miserably with no that. No one uses that. Oh, it's rubbish. Look at all these holes round, <laughs> round here and stuff. Like Digital clock, though. That's very impressive. Yeah. That's very forward yeah. thinking. <laughs> what is that? That's your um, handbrake. This is literally just Careful. the end of an umbrella. <laughs> I've noticed the seats are a little bit loose. Oh, oh well, that, that's where the engine is. Ah, is it? Yeah. That is, that's, re yeah, that's really Should quite loose. Should we take loose. them out? Oh. Easy. Oh, uh, there's no, there's wait, no engine there. Wait. We'll investigate that yeah. when we take it somewhere and then we start pulling it apart. The thing is. Yeah. I've probably got as much knowledge on fixing this car as both of you do. That's a scary thought. It's also, as you will note, a 
two plus two. So let me just get in the back yeah. and then you can take the driver's seat. Okay. It, luckily, yeah. all the seats just roll forward. So bearing in mind, oh, I am they're not, supposed to. not the tallest, but I am extremely comfortable. Do you want to get into the driver's seat, I'll Ethan? The driver's seat. And then we can just demonstrate how versatile this car is. Oh. Ah. Ah, 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 close the door. Hang on. You're I ruining the illusion. Banged my head. You're ruining the illusion. What was that? There you go. That was the mirror. So, <laughs> so, two plus two. They say that it's more for children in the back, but as I'm demonstrating, I am a man. I'm gonna need to come back. No, no, you can't. You I actually can't. No, you I'm actually can't. Though. So you good? Uh, so we could take on quite a lengthy journey here. I'm perfectly happy. I can rest my head just against Ethan's seatbelt here and just nod off. <laughs> I'd have to have the review like that. And I've just thought of another bonus. If you come my way, Jack, if I need any more space, just like that. Oh, could you put your head out the back? And oh, out like that? I could. You're right. You could sit in between me, actually. Oh, there we go. Not That's, for the first time. That is okay. See? I can do. Oh, the uh, accelerator. Is it? It doesn't like to come back. Well, then just full power everywhere you go. I quite like this. I've got a head brace. So at least I know in the event of <laughs> a head on, my head and neck is not going to fling forward and hit yours. <laughs> that is reassuring. Yeah. So that's the inside done. Um, Jack, would you like to come round and have a look at the uh, capacious boot? Oh, yeah. I just need to get... Good idea. Wait, can I get out? <laughs> so the boot is here. Uh... You can fit. That's one arm in, put my phone and in a phone, and part of a seatbelt. That's three things you can put in the boot. I don't know about you, but I usually travel around with two things, and they're usually already in my trousers. Three, three things. Three things. I have three things. Three things. So I don't know if there's any more really to say about this, except I'm sure all of you are very excited to see what we do with this. I think we should take this away and see if we can get it started. Yeah, let's crank it over. Before we take the G-Wiz away and out of early retirement, I'm sure many of you are wondering why this thing exists. After all, it actually won Auto Express's list of worst cars ever made. Not that this is technically a car. Being described as having the performance of a sleepy vole and the structural integrity of your slippers. Either way, the G-Wiz was built at Rivas factory in Bangalore, India from 2001 to 2012 selling a total of 4,600 cars, sorry, quadricycles, in 24 countries. For context, Ford managed to sell 300 more Pumas in the UK in a single month last year. 55% of global sales were accounted for by Indian buyers, of which 40% were in the city of Bangalore, where Mahindra Reva is based. Because the G-Wiz, or Reva I as it's also known, is so small, so slow, and so structurally unsound, it's thankfully banned from motorway driving, achieving a maximum speed of 50 miles an hour and 50 miles range, if driven with a tickle of the throttle and Storm Eunice bringing up the rear. The G-Wiz's only redeeming feature was its low price point, costing a mere £9,995 in the UK- Sorry, that must be a typo. Nine, 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 five? Wait a sec. Price new at £9,995. What the f***? The G-Wiz had no redeeming features and was deemed as possessing serious safety concerns by the UK Department for Transport when it crashed one into a deformable barrier at 35 miles an hour. Indeed, when a woman was killed in one when she crashed into a Skoda Octavia in 2010, Coroner Andrew Walker is quoted as saying, What concerns me is that this vehicle was destroyed in the collision in a way that I have not seen a vehicle destroyed before. So yeah, cool. <laughs> Let's resume the video, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so you join us a few days later, and as you can see, the G-Wiz is now at This Is Your Garage. The aim by the end of this video is to get the G-Wiz moving for the first time in 10 years. 
And for that, we need batteries. So I'd like to introduce Gareth from GSU Asa, who actually DM'd me on Instagram and said, do you need some batteries for something? <laughs> and I said, yeah, we've got a G-Wiz. What can you do? And here we are. Here we are. We've got a multitude of batteries. And Gareth, correct me if I'm wrong, these aren't the standard batteries that you can just pick up from Halfords and just chuck in a G-Wiz. They are not. They okay. are sadly not. However, they are deep cycle batteries, specifically developed for applications like this. So, you know, harsh applications, perfect for the G-Wiz though. Yeah, and they're also super light, as I shall now demonstrate. <coughs> Look at that, yeah, really light. Good catch. <laughs> these are actually fake batteries. They're just really cool. I just wanted to troll everyone. The actual batteries are about 25 or 30 kilos. Unlike an automotive battery, typically designed to provide power to start the car, not that much. You only need it to get you going. Whereas a deep cycle battery is specifically designed to provide power for a much longer period of time. So vehicles like the G-Wiz, floor cleaners, anything where you're using a lot of power for an extended period of time. Yeah, and like a floor cleaner, this has probably got about as much power. Anyway, like I said, the plan is get all of these batteries in and then we can actually see if this will move under its own steam. So get some gloves on, yes. we'll take the seats out and then we'll just get installing everything and then see how it goes. Fingers crossed it actually works. Let's go. Oh my God. Oh, oh, there we go. Just pull it out towards me. Happy. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that's that's the sound of expensive plastic. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll make it look like I'm not struggling. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. They're comfortable though. Just imagine myself just driving down like that with my friend Gareth. Yeah, with my friend Gareth next to me. Feel that power? Yeah, oh, big time. That performance. I don't know why I'm driving, you're driving. <laughs> right, let's crack on. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, there are some batteries. Oh, these are actual car batteries. Yeah, they are. They look, they look disgusting. Right, we need to get all that gubbins yeah, out. Yeah, it's probably not ideal that it's wet, but yeah. sure. Wet batteries is good, Gareth? Uh, yeah, acid is great. That's a f mess. I suppose you get what you pay for, right? Is this the modem? <laughs> right, can we start it? It's not working, Jerry. Jerry! <laughs> Jerry, how... how confident are you that we'll get this little piece of sh uh, this little car working by the end of the day? Uh, hundred percent positive. Hundred and ten percent. Hundred doesn't off. exist. So that's your positive. He goes so there. Your and your negative one is going to go to there to start with. So him there. Yeah. Tell my mum I love her. Do you want to do a disclaimer? Disclaimer. If you buy a G Wiz, don't. Don't do it without people who know what they're doing. Yeah. Like me. Don't do it with me. That's that, not, that's do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Just don't bother. Yeah. Buy a petrol or a diesel car, they're much better. Seriously though, in the event that you have a similar battery-powered project like ours, please seek professional guidance and ensure that the necessary measures are in place. Right, so the, the guys who know a lot more about batteries have been deliberating for about 20 minutes. I haven't a clue what's going on. I'm just, just watching them. It's, it's amazing. And now we're starting to put some stuff together. Thankfully, Dick from This Is Your Garage actually printed this out for us. So it is starting to make sense. It is quite a basic series, isn't it? But we just got to get our heads around it a little bit. But in 12 minutes, this car will be moving under its own steam. But in 13 minutes, this car will be moving under its own steam. But in 30 minutes, right? We'll just keep going until more, we get yeah, the number. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god! Right, so 
this is legit the first startup in 10 years. The, the last MOT was, I don't know, May 2012 or so. Right, it's in neutral. I hear noises. Oh my God, is it on? Yeah, it's, it's on. Uh, Ta-da! So we're gonna put the seat in and then I'm gonna go for a drive around. <laughs> right, transition. What are these wires? You may notice I've got a couple of things going on here. I've got a fire extinguisher and I also have a really long uh, cable running to the accelerator pedal because the accelerator pedal doesn't return by itself. There's a spring under there that's knackered. So let's start it up. No oh, noises. We've got heaters going. We we'll switch that off. We're in neutral. Let's put it in E. Don't know what that does. E for energizer mode. Oh, I feel like I'm in an aeroplane. Contact! <laughs> and maybe away. What's that noise? It's a motorcycle. No one panic. Right, here we go. Please wipe, please wipe, please wipe, please wipe. Oh! Look at me go! Oh! Yes! Go on, Gary. Oh! Oh! This is foot flat to the floor now. It's very, very, very slow. And this is me releasing. Oh, it works! It works! Look at it. Let's let's test out the turning circle. Oh, Jesus. That's really difficult I'm trying to hold the accelerator pedal. I think this calls for a little celebration. Don't you? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Oh, what a machine. Thank you very much, Jerry for wiring everything up. And thank you very much, Yuasa, for actually providing us with the batteries. This is gonna be one hell of a little series. I can tell you that for certain. Shall we try reverse? <laughs> reverse. Oh, shut up, it only works. What does F do? Does F give me more power? Oh, I'm definitely going faster now. Oh, yes. F is, F is the way forward. I think E must be economy. F must be full. Ah! Woo! Oh! Oh! And the accelerator pedal, I think, is actually coming back. The spring is returning. Look at the handling. Everything works as it should. This is amazing, isn't it? Everything's just loosened itself up. Everything's working its way back in. Feeling its way down the road, you know. It's like, ooh, yeah, I like me a bit of that. Wait, one sec, one sec. That is what you call a result, because this car, heavy quadricycle, is absolutely fantastic. And I'm not on fire yet, which is always a result. And with that, transition. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Right, let's do a top speed run. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 30, 30, 31. That's all we're gonna get out of the mighty G-Wiz today. Happy days. Okay, so there we have it. We actually came up with an idea and we managed to execute it. That's the first. Massive thank you to GSU Asa for giving us all of the batteries. In the meantime, let us know what you want us to do with Gary in the comments below. We're going to be doing hypermiling, mods, maybe some bad and steelies. What else? Four of us in it. Four of us inside Gary. Can <laughs> we make it work? Yes, we can. We've all seen the videos. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe. Very good. Here. And watch more videos over there. From us, from Gary, good night, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.